Hello again. This is lesson number three. And I thought today what we'd do is try a bit of a sketch, no pencil, just try to put, put a picture together with just using our brush. Let's, let's start to see where it takes us. Right, initially what I want to do is mix a little touch of colour there, say, mm, say some light red, that'll do fine. Touch of light red. And what I want to try to do this time is show you how to make corners and buildings without needing pencils. So let's try and see how, see how we go. This is using the flat brush. Take it across there like that. Just a touch down the other side. And that's given us the shape of a roof. Okay? Right, but, but we've got no lines to follow or anything like that, so we've got to make lines through different colours. So let, let, let's try and build up on this. I'm going to mix some, uh, some, some green. I don't have a green in my path, you might have noticed, uh, but e each time I have to mix a green. This way, by mixing greens that way, you don't slavishly dip your brush in the same green as you've got on your palette and everything looks the same green and boring. So let's start off by mixing some cadmium yellow. With some Windsor Blue red shade. And let's see if this gives it a, a suitable colour to give me an edge. I'll show you what I mean by showing you on the picture. If I put this colour just there. That will give me the edge of a building, won't it? And this time, same as last time, the light is coming from the top left. So let's darken that green a bit. Let's put a bit more, a bit more blue into it and see what we get. There's a bit more blue. Perhaps a touch of burnt umber in there. That'll even down any more. Then that way I can even darken that, that green to give it shape because the light's coming from top left over again so the dark will be on the, the bottom right. Right, that's got one side done. So let's see if we can read Matt Reed of the other side with another colour. Wash the brush out. And let's have a particular brush in there. We'll have a, let's see, use some yellow again there. And perhaps a, a, a paler, paler tree this time. But keep to that edge. That's the edge where the where the building is. And that'll give us and form the other side of the house, won't it? Or the farmhouse, whatever you like to call it. We'll see how it goes with there. Here again, don't forget where the light's coming from and put some darks in the bottom side of it, round, round there, that's what give it three dimension. Okay? Right, we can see the basis of a, of, a, of, a, of a house begin to come just through using colour. Right, the next thing we can do is to put a little bit of a touch of, uh, give it a, a different brush and we'll put some, we'll put some grass in the foreground that was sort of put down as sort of a base for for the foreground there as I say it's not a masterpiece it's just an exercise 
but it's, it's, it's given us something, the house has got something to stand on now. Now from there we take it a stage further and we can put uh, perhaps a bit more green on there but I'm just working as I go along just making it up and I'll put a green here but a paler green because I want it to look further back into the distance. There, and say, take it around there as well. Now that's a different, different plane, a different field. And what I want to do with that is to sort of develop this by putting some more blues into this and taking that colour back. Let's develop a bit more colour into that and see where we go. Touch this blue into there. And it'll develop, say, a, a distant, distant hedge or something like that, or perhaps a tree or something like that. And the, the value of that colour it is it's important, not when put what the colour is, but it's important that it doesn't come forward. It's a background tree, and that will sort of sit there on the, the behind that background field there and sit, sit quietly there. It doesn't intrude. Here again, we still want some shadow, don't we? So we've got to think about shadow all the time. Darks and lights and things like that. So let's put some darks in round there. That's giving it a three-dimensional look. Right, can you see it building slightly? It, it's looking more like a, a house, and it, a, a house, but with a but with a field behind it. Let's put a touch around here as well. That'll build that up. Wipe the brush a bit. Put a bit more dark in there. We go down there. So we've got really, we've got sort of distant trees, a bit of a field in the distance there, foreground grass, and the cottage or, or house or farm or wherever it is standing in the foreground. Now it, it's still just a piece of flat piece of paper that, so we, we, we've got to try and give it some shape. So what we need now is to mix, mix some shadow colour, and I like a shadow colour. A shadow colour for me is good is, is French ultramarine with a touch of burnt umber into it. That will give you a, a nice Shadowy colour. Lovely. Wash the brush out every time, don't forget. It's got to, it's got to be clean, that brush. Right, let's put a touch of, touch of this colour into the lights from top left, don't forget. Let's put a, this down here, like this. This is depicting side of the building that's in shade and that's given us another dimension so we're building it up without a pencil or anything like that that's just using colour so the shade is there and you'd also get with the light from top left you'd also get a shadow under the eaves of the roof there so let's pop a bit under there so we've got a roof on We've got a, a, a building in, in, which is three dimensional now because we've got a shadow on the right hand side. And I'll tell you what else we can do. We can put some of this dark colour on the roof, if, if you like, pan or something like that. This little square brush is a lovely brush for doing all sorts of things like this. Just put it on there. At least that roof now looks waterproof, doesn't it? Just the job, just what we needed. So it's, it's not it's not a, a, a nice pinky colour or orangey colour. It's now a roof. Now another thing we can do now is pop some windows in there. Let's, let's pop some windows in. Using this, this shadow colour, it's quite a good colour, but a little bit darker this time. So add a bit more colour into the water. And then 
Perhaps we'll make, we decide what kind of windows we've got here. There, window. and of course this one here, if you think about it, will be narrower, won't it? For the simple reason, you're looking at this building on the corner, and if you look at a, 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 a window like that, the first part of the window is covered by the frame of the window, so you won't see the full window. Just, just remember that. And then perhaps another one just here. Another one there, that will give you. It sits in, if you do them all the same, it looks like all the windows are facing towards you. We want them to sit in the building. We'll have another one, that, that'll, another bit of practice there. Yeah, it's looking quite a nice farm, this, with you know, the farmhouse, and I'm, I'm living here myself. Let's have a look now. So I've got some downstairs now. Let's see how you go. And perhaps another one here. This is the, the lounge. And then this, I think, below here, we'll have the, the farmhouse door. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Almost do. And what colour shall we have? Uh, red. Red is always a good colour. So we'll have a red farmhouse door. Here we go. Just a touch of red. Don't need to mix a big, big pot of colour because it's only a small area. Let's pop a door in here. It'll be top to where the top of the window will do. That's where the door will be. We'll pop it in there. Don't want it too long because I want it, I want it to sort of sit, sit right in the building. Now that is just a block of red, but we can't have to just leave it like that if you think about it. What we've got to do is make it look as though it's set into the actual brickwork there. So let's, if the, the, the light is coming from the top left, we'll get a shadow. Just on this side of the door there, that we shall set it into the brickwork, won't it? Just there, and perhaps underneath there, where it's set in. Now that puts the actual door in the brickwork instead of just a flat piece of colour. Important that. And I think because it's it's high this door, what I'll do is to get us out of this out of this spot, we ought to put in put in some steps. How's that? They've built this on the floodplain, see, so it, it, it's got some height to it. So now we've, we've got some steps up to the front door. We've got a house, we can see out of it. The lounge is there. Looks like three bedrooms. It's, it's a nice, quite a nice place. Uh, now, the, if, if, what, what I've forgotten here is, is it, is it central heated? Or do we need a chimney? I think it'd be nice to have a chimney. You know, all the world, a chimney. Let's put a chimney in. Get a brush. Let's put a chimney in the top. So props about, ooh, let's see now, put one here. Of course it'll set into the roof, won't it? See how we go with that. Now, when that dries a little bit, we can give it a three-dimensional look by putting a dark on the right-hand side. Now, it, it, to tidy up this front here, what we can do is, is get a bit more of that green I've got left, I'm not wasting that, and pop in probably a, a, a shrub or something down here. A nice darky, darky coloured hedge or something, just to That will bring that, this field forward as well. Have him along here. This, as I said, it's, it's not a masterpiece. It's, it's just just showing you how to build something up quickly. Take along here. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. Don't make a lot of a big feature of it. Just just twiddle it along like that. 
Oh, I'm not even bothering finishing it yet. It's just it's, it's only a, a bit of a sketch. And, and of course, what you can do also is at the same time here is put in. Uh, there'll be shadows on the on this as well, won't they? Because you always remember where the light's coming from. So on the underside of this, it will. My phone ringing. I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Sorry about that folks. Uh, so, putting the shadows in on the underside there, it gives the, the bushes, what you see, the, the, the roots and that seem to go under. And they, they're always in the darker area. So remember that as well. It makes it look as though it's it's, it's three-dimensional instead of just a flat piece of colour. Give it a bit of a bit of twiddle. That's it. And sometimes what you can do is with this bush here is perhaps link it over the over the that thing and bring the tree in front of this cottage. There, like that. That sets the cottage in amongst the greenery. So it's really good. You can see that we've got the, the, the distant trees there, a bit of a distant field, very, very palely done. And then the, we've got a hedgerow there, which is quite strong. And then some greenery in the foreground here. Now, let me think, what else shall we do? Just to, I'm just I'm playing about and building this up. Uh, what about, uh, oh, put a bit of sky in, how's that? A bit of sky. Let's have a nice day because we've got the sunshine on there. I'll mix some colour. I'll try and show you this colour while I'm mixing. Some there. We'll put some, some sunshine. Now, raw sienna is a lovely sunshine colour. Like that. Nice touch of that. That's lovely. And of course, a bit of blue sky. Or some blue sky. Not too much because it's not that big. And then some clouds. So some clouds. I put some French ultramarine and then some burnt umber would give you some clouds. So let's let's see what what that gives us. Let's just just fill it up. Right. I've got a clean brush here. I picked a, a, the biggest brush up now we've got. And let's see where we go from here. First of all, I'm going to just put a touch of water on there, just to, in areas randomly. I don't want to get too excited about this. And then some sunshine, let's put some sunshine in there. Don't try and think it out, just do it. And see how it goes. And then we'll have some blue sky, touch of blue sky. Into there. Just move fast. If you start thinking about it, you'll just spoil it. Yeah, that's building up our, our sky. And perhaps a bit of really, put the odd cloud at the top there. I don't want it too nice, I do. Right, some French ultramarine and burnt umber in again. We should give me a cloud cover. Let's put some cloud up there. Put some cloud down here. And you're moulding your, your cloud through using that, that raw sienna colour and then putting some shadows on the underside of the clouds. And then it starts to form a sky, doesn't it? That's pretty straightforward. Now I haven't, I purposely, I, I haven't gone right down to the, the, the bottom there because I thought we'd, we'd, we'd introduce one or two, uh, the mountains in there, that, that'd be nice wouldn't it, before we finish. A few mountains in there, I've got to let that dry for a minute so I, I can either do that or what I can do is get my hair dryer. A hair dryer is a wonderful thing for quickening things up. Let's see what we can do with this. 
hair dryer. Should be dry enough. Then we can put some, put some mountains in now to fill that little gap in at the back. Uh, I think we'll start with a, a distant mountain. Keep this 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 bluey toned. Keep them keep them coming. So that's that's coming down. It'll come down behind that tree there and pop up round there. A mountainous places. Just a job. I'd love to live here. That's the background mountain, and of course, because it's it's three dimensional, like we, we've always said there. We're going to put some sh darker colour on the right hand side, because that's away from the clouds, isn't it? Away from the sky, away from the sun. There. So that's giving that, that mountain a bit of three dimension. Right. That'll do it for that one. And then one in the foreground here, it might be a bit, bit greener. Let's, let's put some green in this one. So it's because it's, it's, it's more, uh, it's a closer one, it's a hill more than a mountain, but it is still a hill, a big hill. So let's just whop a hill in here like this. Whoops, round the house. Just drill around there. I say it's only a practice this, so we're not, we're not bothered about getting things exactly right. It's just a, a nice, an exercise for you before we, we start a proper picture. Because after this, Sketch this in lesson three. I want to do a proper picture with you. Start with the proper pictures, some that you can bore your neighbours with when they're all fit again. Right, that's that's a bit of base colour. It's pushed this bluey mountain back. The green has brought it forward, but still it's flat. So we've got to make sure that that light, which is coming from top left, don't forget, is showing on the picture. So let's put some darks into there. Make it darker. Put some darks into here where they using that same brush again. Twiddle this down. Put a bit craggy down here. By doing that it's 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 brought that, that mountain green mountain reasonably close to us and push that blue one back into the distance which is just what I wanted it to do. Right, so it's a bit of a too, too contrasty that so I'm going to wipe my brush in the clean water there and spread some of this this colour over here which will soften it a little bit more. Take that sharpness of it. Then where we are here, we can take that down there and it'd be nice to put some really juicy dark bits, shadowy bits, into that into that mountainside. Crevices and things like that, that'd be lovely. Down there, see like that, away from the light there. And on the, on the sunshine side, I think we'll, we'll, we'll still have a little bit pale green, but, but we need to sort of do a bit of sculpture in here, because it's the same mountain, isn't it? So we'll put some, some colour into there as well. I 
I love messing about like this. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? it you see, it doesn't matter what it turns out like. Because if, if, if it doesn't work, it's only a piece of paper. So we're all right. It doesn't matter. Let's, let's do the top of that cottage there. More on there. And when it dries a bit that what I want to do is restate that, that, that bluey edge there because I've lost it. It always happens, these things you've got to be careful. And I want to perhaps uh, a bit of what about a bit of a path in the foreground there? Let's let's, let's put a bit of a path in here. See where the where the steps are, let, let's Put a path in here. Be nice, wouldn't it? Taking you into the picture. Put some in the foreground. Put some that burnt and that dirty brown. Bring that little. Bring it forward as well. It immediately brings it forward. Put some rat ruts in, into this track. Lovely. If you feel like it, what you can do is just put some more green in around there if, you, if, you, if it's upsetting you that that area. So we can put some green in there. Let, 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 okay, let's do it, and uh, and then that'll that'll solve that problem, won't it? A bit more green into here. Let's have a good dip in there. How's that? Ooh, down there. Touch more on this side. As I said, don't don't think of masterpieces. Just think of something you've just built, just to practice. And you haven't used a pencil, have you? You've just used your brush and formed it with the brush. Now, if you remember, I said that chimney we needed to make it too spider when it dried a bit. So we need to that right hand side give it a give it a sort of a make it like that that's what make that colour that side there put some dark into there as well Right, we get we get in there. And, uh, same as with these windows, by the way. While well, I'm, I'm talking about that, we'll, 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 we'll just don't leave them flat like that. What I want to do is, is there's a sh like a shadow on the door there. You'll get a shadow on the on the actual windows there. You just a little one, just in that corner there. Just just depicting the the bit of shade in there. Might seem unimportant, but it, it, it certainly helps to, to put you put the put the actual pins actually into the wall. Right, and perhaps this side of the side of the steps wants to fill in, don't it? Right, we get in there. Now we'll put that we'll put that blue, that blue, state, restate that blue in the in the dis, in the the background tree is there. Let's see, see what we can do with that. Restate these blues here. Restate it because it brings it, it. I lost it in the in the mountain there. But we're back again now. And then some the other side. In here. And let's darken it a bit where the shadows will be. On the underside here. 